Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Awesome Sean here. In this game, I've been waiting on for quite some time to do. If you folks haven't read the title, it is Ape Escape 3. Yes, finally. We're ready to get into it. Fin finishing out this year with one of the greatest Ape Escape games since the first one. I don't I don't know which one I like bat better. I don't know if I like this version or the original the original Ape Escape. I don't know which one I like better. This one has its own charms. The first one has its own charm. Of course, nothing can beat the music of the um, of the first game. But this one, the gameplay is pretty solid here, folks. Um, I couldn't jump into this game. Uh, I couldn't skip the second game without jumping into this uh, game because if I skip the the second game. This game would make no sense to um, the folks who was watching. So, yeah, Ape Escape 3, folks, bringing back these uh, stupid monkeys that was in the second game. Um, we got some new protagonists and whatnot, but the gameplay is solid, and I'm so excited to just jump into this, folks. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to do this, but Ape Escape 3 is finally here for you folks, so I'm glad to bring this to you. You know, all the... All the capture and app, uh, all the action and whatnot. And as you can see, there's two protagonists here to choose from. You actually get to choose your character and who you want to play with. Yes, this is this is why this is why, folks. I am hoping for an Ape Escape Four. As you can tell, I'm really excited to be doing this by the sound of my voice. But yeah, as I stated before, I'm really ready to do this folks so ape escape three for the playstation 2 gonna make sure those subtitles are on so i can talk over this gonna make sure everything is where it needs to be gonna make the screen you know just making sure everything is great as far as uh resolution and whatnot but yeah folks this is how the game starts so we're gonna go ahead and start gonna go ahead and just put in a name here which is pretty much my nickname uh, which is Sean in case you folks didn't know by now, which yeah, I mean it's awesome Sean. Come on <laughs> But anyway folks, I'm just uh, excited a little excited. I need to tone it down a little bit now I'm gonna get back into the regular tone of my voice. But anyway folks. Yeah, this is Ape Escape 3 third entries in the series of course um, making its debut within um, I think it was 2003 I'm just gonna be um, rocking the wiki just to make sure, because I only want to give you folks the best when it comes to um, accurate information and whatnot. Okay, so this game came out uh, in Japan July 14th, 2005, only a couple of days after my birthday. Um, and it came, it was available to, um, you know, in North America, uh, January 17th, 2006, uh, to the, I was going to say 2016. January 17, 2006, so I kind of had a bit of a um, brain fart there, but yeah, this was available in 2006, I was only three years off, I really thought it was within uh, 2003, but whatever, whatever, um, yeah, you can, um, as the story, as they go over the plots, I'm going to be explaining the, um, the gameplay a little bit, well, no, I should really say that into, um, until the end, but anyway, yeah, as Natalie's saying, the monkeys are loose again and causing uh, chaos. Um, they're, this time, they're using um, TV shows in order to uh, <laughs> in order to take over the world. Uh, Natalie is explaining that the TV show is so stupid that it turns uh, anybody who watching it. So there's the protagonist right there. You got Spike and um, Jimmy from the last game that turned into stupid counts potatoes along with the pota um, along with the professor. So we got <laughs> we got these two protagonists out here that's gonna be able to help us out with these situations. Um, you'll be able to choose whichever player that you want to play with. It's really uh, up to you. Um, but I'm gonna explain something when it comes to choosing, uh, as soon as pretty much, um, they're over with this dialogue and whatnot. It's just explaining. This game, um, 
just to let you know, this game still looks gorgeous. Um, even though the uh, this game is over um, 10 years old, it still looks pretty gorgeous and what um, and whatnot. But yeah, it's still pretty gorgeous. Um, we're going to the um, character select uh, screen. Which one do you want to play with? It's really up to preference. So whoever you do want to play with, it's up to you. But I'm going with uh, K here. Um, I could have went with Yumi, but it would have made the game t um, too easy because she has an ability because she's an idol. Um, some of the monkeys love her music, so it would make them really easy to capture. So going with K here is kind of like the hard mode of the game. So I'm going to be choosing him to play with him um, throughout the adventure and whatnot. So once you choose, whoever you choose, you can't switch back. So make a careful choice of choosing who you want to play through, uh, play with, because they're going to be your choice throughout the whole game. So, um, while they're going through that, and we was able to capture our, um, first monkey, but, um, yeah, the gameplay pretty much follows the previous games in which, um, you gotta catch the monkeys, uh, using various gadgets, uh, controlled by the right analog stick. Um, there's something in this game that makes it unique. I'm going to be going over that in just a few here. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to be going over gameplay as we um, we pretty much get into the game. The first stage of the game, I'm going to be going over um, what makes this game unique. So I'll be able to do that with you folks in just a second here as soon as we um, pretty much um, go over this little um, tutorial that she's taking us through right quick so as soon as she's done with that um, we'll be able to go into our first uh, level and then I'll be able to explain to you you know what's going on and what's what well I'm pretty sure you already have a um, benefit of what's going on um, first um, I'm going to pretty much um, be explaining you know the jab I'm going to be going over the Japanese text right here um, because it uses their Japanese names the protagonist anyway but I'll be able to tell you you know who's who so yeah, our first stage is my 36th wedding, which I'm pretty sure makes some reference to some show or something like that. If it does, uh, put a comment below. Um, let me know what it is because I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, third Ape Escape, folks. This game still looks gorgeous. But um, yeah, there are a few fewer gadgets to use within this game, fewer than previous entries right here. But, you know, it's all good in the hood. Um, some monkeys, what makes it unique is some monkeys are able to um, steal uh, player stunt club or time net and use it against them. They can even force uh, a player out of the level by catching them with their own net, which has only happened to me one time while I was playing this game, and it was my first time playing. But I've been playing this game for over years now. I've been playing this game for about... 10 years. I got actually I got it two years after it was released. I would have got it released year But I didn't know Ape Escape exists and when I did got it I got Ape Escape 2 along with it because I didn't know that was exist. I thought that um, Once the previous Ape Escape was it done that was it but with that being said nevertheless I am grateful that I was able to pick these two games up and play with me experiencing Ape Escape 2 before Ape Escape 3 and with me not really having internet back then in the day because it wasn't accessible as it is now. So, you know, it's just whatever. I was 16 at the time. Wanted, uh, well, actually, I was uh, I was about 18 at the time. Wanted to play some new games. Um, PlayStation 2 was still kind of a thing, you know, um, before the essential PlayStation 3 takeover. But, you know what? It is what it is. But <laughs> those monkeys just took off. they like, forget the wedding. It's, it's everyone from themselves, <laughs> and they took off in di uh, different directions, so basically I'm going to capture the groom and let the bride to weep. I'll capture her at a later time. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm a, I'm a sick, sick, twisted person, but you know what? It's just whatever. The game's, the game's good enough. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that was it for the first stage. Technically the second, if you want to count the monkey, uh, the one monkey that we had. But I'm going to uh, essentially just categorize this as the first. Um, the load times on this game is a little ridiculous, but, you know, it is what it is. It was a game back then. Um, 
you did figure, you know, games have, like, games of these days and age, like, um, give me an example of a bad one, but the games now these days, I just thought of a bad one anyway, but anyway, the games these days don't really have load times as much, oh, we getting the monkey radar, sweet, but, um, games of these, these days and days don't have that many load times, um, the only one that comes to my mind as far as, like, Having a crazy load time is the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Having a bad, really bad load, uh, load time. But um, comment in the uh, comments below uh, which game in this day and age has like a super ridiculous loading time, folks. I'm talking about at least 30 seconds or more. Um, place that down in the comments because I really kind of want to know. But enough of that. Besides, uh, you know, enough of that and whatnot. Welcome to the second stage of Ape Escape, we're going pretty much moving along pretty quickly here folks, uh, this game took me about a total of three days to finish, um, playing after them, you know, a long time, but, um, you know what, it's a game that I really enjoyed, so I didn't mind t t taking the time out, uh, you know, those three days in order to complete this, hope you folks are enjoying the Pokemon playthrough. You know, or at least have enjoyed the Pokemon playthroughs. Uh, I don't know if I have this finished by the time I upload this. But I hope you folks enjoyed the playthrough and everything I had to offer. It's probably going to be a while before I do another RPG. Don't know. Uh, figure I'd just go back to Ape Escape and, you know, kind of get this last entry out of the way. Um, don't know what I'm going to be playing after this. I'll probably have something in my head by the time this uploads. Don't know. Um... Yeah, so Pokemon is uh, pretty much almost completed. Um, if I haven't completed it by the time I upload this, like I said, stated, I don't know. But I hope you guys are enjoying that or have enjoyed it, as I stated before. Um, yeah, so back to Ape Escape. Yeah, this game is just, like I stated before, is gorgeous, folks. I just love everything about this game. And if you have an HD TV, it's only going to make it look even better than what it already is. Um, <laughs> I messed up using the uh, radar instead of uh, actually, actually capturing the monkey. I kind of messed up on my part there. But anyway, I'm going to be pretty much just getting as much um, out of the way as I can before I decide moving on. But anyway, as I stated before, the monkeys aren't really as aggressive. And it's more of a cartoony kind of ape escape, if that makes any sense. But it is um, smooth, fluent. Um, once again, um, as like in the first game, the health are plenty, so I don't really see yourself dying as much. Uh, coins are still essential. You still need those to buy health and um, buy health and buy like um, upgrades and stuff like that. You'll see what I mean. When we eventually get to that, but anyway, um, yeah, so, yeah, this is, oh man, this game is, I'm, I really don't have much to say about this game, besides, you know, that, okay, that was weird, besides, you know, that the game's being, it's gorgeous for what it is, you know, so it's not, it's not much I can really say besides that, folks, really, it's really not, um, this game, I'm, it's, it makes me want a fourth one, a fourth Ape Escape game, it really does, it really wants, um, you know, for the PS4, why not, Ape Escape 4 for the PS4, sounds nice, um, whatever the lifespan of the PS4 is gonna be, um, I really don't know, it usually lasts a while, console wise, um, so whatever the, uh, the lifespan for the PS4 is gonna be, man, this guy was giving me trouble, but whatever the lifespan for the PS4, you know, it's going to be. I hope that Ape Escape 4 is part of its lifestyle before we get a possible PS5, which I don't think is going to happen. Um, at least, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. They're probably just going to keep updating and upgrading the PS4 until they milk it dry. Um, I don't know, like, it'd be cool if they had something called, like, the PlayStation X or something like that, or, um, you know, just PlayStation with numbers on it, I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just being weird, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, we capturing, um, all those monkeys from two stages now, um, this device right here that she 
gifts of giving us can let us transform. Um, this is what makes this game stand out for the rest of the Aperscape games. You have the ability to transform into different forms, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, you have to, um, yeah, it's a few, this is what makes up for the fuel gadgets. Um, a new feature in this game is the ability to morph into different forms through a vice built by, uh, Aki, which is, um, you know, the ant rat here. But, um, we're getting our first, uh, form right now, which is, um, the fantasy knight, which she is just explaining over. Um, pretty much I'm gonna be going over all the tutorials as far as, um, you know, going over the forms and stuff, and... Um, pretty much gonna be trying to skip, you know, the, um, items that we already used or seen before. Um, I don't believe we get any, um, any new, uh, gadgets here, but I'm definitely gonna be going over all of the, um, pretty much I'm gonna be going over all of the forms that, um, we are allowed to partake as far as this game goes. So I'm gonna be explaining, um, gonna be explaining that. Well, I'm not going to be explaining, I'm just going to be training, going over the training with it. So you'll be able to um, pretty much see how it works and how it all morphs together. Uh, no pun intended, but <laughs> yeah, how it all um, merges and stuff together. So you'll be able to see that. But anyway, um, she's going over, um, you know, how the morphing works. So, you know, if you push the two back buttons, the L, uh, L1 and not the L1, but the R1 and the R2, uh, you'll gain the ability to morph. You can morph into, um, well, since we only have the ability to morph into Fantasy Knight, we can only do that, as you can see by the question marks there. There are a lot more forms we can partake in, and I love this music, this music here. Out of all the, um, out of all the themes, the morphing themes that we can, um, train, uh, the, out of all the morphing themes that are available, this is my favorite one. I don't know, it just sounds so speffy and whatnot. But, yeah, um, you have a limited time to transform, which is 30 seconds. But you can always increase that increase that by going to the shop. So, um, yeah, um, the Fantasy Knight mostly focuses on offense and defense. Um, which you having a strong emphasis on uh, defense, which is able to block most shots that comes around it. Um, mostly going to be dealing with fire and whatnot, but it has a shield for that, so you'll be able to defend against that. Also has a uh, uh, wide range where you can capture monkeys in your field. So if you just tap down R3, you'll be able to catch the, um, the monkeys in a magical field that will come out and capture all monkeys surrounding you. So it's good to like, if you have a group of monkeys around you, if you tap on that, it'll create a circle that'll capture the monkeys for you, which is always pretty cool. I always thought it was pretty cool. All forms uh, in this game have a similar technique, but it's just all different. It depends on um, you and what you want to do with it. So it's pretty cool that they was able to introduce forms within this game. It's a, to me, it's a welcome addition. It really is, but um, yeah, special attacks. Um, are performed by pretty much just spinning the uh, the right analog stick or R3 as I call it and it'll create a shockwave which will be able to take out enemies around you so this game is just hype this game is just has all of it folks just uh, you know transformations fewer gadgets which I can always deal with look at that just instant KO and own it track there just oh man this theme is just this theme is just making it so much better, folks. It really is. <laughs> At least to me, anyway. But, um, we're almost done with this training sequence. And as soon as we're done with this training sequence, we're gonna head back to... We're gonna head into the main level itself, folks. So, until then, I'll see you soon. And take care.